so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i will be covering externally described data structure in rpg4 i have already covered the multi occurrence data structure uh, in rpg le so you can uh, view that video from my channel so this time i would be discussing uh, externally described data structure in rpg le so let me jump to the ibm i green screen so what it is actually so whenever we are uh, defining or giving the definition of the data structure based upon any external thing or external file that is an externally described data structure so so here in this case you can see i use the ds i i define the ds as ds1 so let me open this in edit mode this take f4 so here i took e which denotes that this is an externally described data structure and ds is obviously used for the data structure and ext name is used here which gives the where we have to give the name of the file which is must but there is an optional thing so we can provide the record format name as well so if in case if your file has multiple record formats so you can give the record format name also so this is the optional thing the second thing so the most important thing is to give the file so if i am not going to giving this so i would be enclosing my brackets here so here i can what i can do i can prefix i can also prefix the uh, fields so i am prefixing with a1 so now fields will become a1 a idn a1 name a1 eddr1 a1 eddr2 so i am populating some dummy data here so let me show you the file rpg 14 pf this is the file whose record format name is rcdfmt14 which i used which is optional in the program these are the fields so i am basing that data structure on this file so then that become the externally described data structure okay so this is the one way by which i can Uh, define externally data described data structure using ext name and then prefixing them and now there is another way so in this i am using ext name but i am not prefixing the field so i am using ext fld so i am defining my own fields which is externally described so this one b1 idn is a field which is externally described so i even i can give any name here for example i want to give a1 here b1 here here c1 here d1 here so i can do that as well so it depends upon me what field name or what variable name i want to give and that is an externally described field so ext fld would be the fields of this file which is defined in the ext name keyword so i am basically basing these variables or these fields on these external definition external file field definitions so both the way i can do uh, or i can um, code a external described data structure so here i am populating the data in the ds sub fields so let me quickly compile them this is compiled just compile this this is also compiled let me compile this so all the programs are now compiled just debug rpg le 14 first Just set the breakpoint at line number one. Call the program RPGLE14. 
so currently ds1 is not initialized or not even populated so i we can see that ds1 is based upon the file field definitions using exe name and prefixing them with a1 so let me populate all those fields now see the values in ds1 so i can see the data is populated in the ds1 which is externally described data structure so this is the first program now we'll show you the second program just debug this program both the program will uh, work uh, the same way so they behave the same way the only difference is there we are using exe and and in the first case we are using prefix just call this program so i can see i can give different names to my fields which are externally defined on the file fields so here in this case i don't have to stuck or stick with that prefix the same prefix used with all the fields i can give my own name to the fields or the variables uh, which are defined here and are basically uh, externally defined on a file field so i can see the values which are populated during the program so this or that uh, this is what i want to show you as an external describe data section in rpgly so uh, that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time